and who don't judge me for, for what I have, Tourette's syndrome. This interview really is going to determine how what happens with him for high school. This is it. This interview is really important for both of us. Ticks are something like when you twitch or jump or punch or do other weird things. I, mean, I have funny tics and some people laugh, but it's not like a picking on laugh. It's just a laugh like a, a funny laugh. I'm like, okay. I don't blame people for not understanding Tourette's because I don't understand it 100% either. Jalen started with the motor tics at two and then the vocal tics right there on the on the, probably on the cusp of his third birthday. So at three, he had a full diagnosis. I was scared to death. I didn't even know what it was. I had never even heard the word before. Uh, ow! I really don't like grass. <laughs> I do not like walking on it barefoot. It really irritates my feet. Jalen also has a lot of sensory issues. Nothing can be worn with tags in it. Jalen can, cannot wear anything but all cotton, must be washed in some serious fabric softener, or he's itching all over. Can't have the seams in his socks. Um, he has texture issues. He does not like anything with the slimy feel, which is most fruit. He's a hard texture person. Meat is hard textured. He's a real big meat eater. We either go buy fruit smoothies, and he can drink it, or we do the vitamin supplements. Tick symptoms seem to bother uh, most other people uh, often more than they bother the child. The obsessive compulsive symptoms are often most disruptive for the individual. And then uh, the ADHD symptoms may be most disruptive for the school. I usually recommend asking the child what bothers you most, and then that's our starting point for treatment. I have a lot of OCD, but the biggest one is the tapping one. Like when you tap, I ha I have to wipe it. Stop tapping, Vito! Stop! Nina, stop! Nina, go go ahead, Jay. I can't. I'll stop. Go. Stop it! Let him wipe it. Let him wipe it under your seat, but I'll stop. I don't know why. If I tap, ooh, I gotta wipe it. What Tourette's puts me through, it makes me really, like, really sad. It puts me in pain. It literally hurts me. And it, it makes life a lot more harder. When I look at myself, I'm this twitchy boy who's going crazy. And then I look at my friends and other people, and I feel like I'm the only one who has this. Man, there's something inside of me and I really want it out. Try to put a pillow. Try to bang on the pillow. That we chose to deal with it um, naturally and holistically. We use massage therapy, chiropractors. We do home, you know, our own home remedies. I watch the sugar. I control his diet. I do everything I can naturally to make his life better and uh, protect him. And all of this together is supposed to make ticks go away, but it doesn't. It helps, but it doesn't make the ticks go when away. When he is extreme and he is harming himself, and at what point he harms himself or others, we will use that medication on a short-term basis. He has a bed tick currently to where his entire body, head, neck, shoulder, back, buttocks, legs, feet, have to come completely off the mattress. And it does. The only way I can describe it is like if you took a fish out of a bowl of water. The 
this is what we go through every day, I would say, except for Friday and Saturday night due to he has no bedtime on Friday and Saturday night. I let him watch TV until he just passes out. There, there, there's nothing I can do for him. It's just, it's the most horrible, horrible tick that he has had since he has had Tourette's syndrome. I can understand OCD and I can understand the Tourette's um, to a degree, but I'll never be inside of him to know that feeling. Why are you always saying that your life sucks? Because <laughs> it does. Everyone knows it's a happy life, but I don't. Why do you think you're not supposed to be on this earth? Because I never have any enjoyment. <laughs> you have a lot of enjoyment. Not everywhere. No, I don't. I wish I could be a normal kid. If I can just keep my game face on and be positive for him and, and gain some of my strength from him, he's going to be all right. He, he's he's going to be fine with it. I get nervous in front of the crowd a little bit, so <laughs> it takes a while for me to get used to talking on stage. I have something called Tourette's syndrome. My friends are always really supportive and protective of me. They don't make fun of me because I have Tourette's syndrome. Sometimes they joke around with me about it, but I laugh at it usually, too. Let's read 15 through 20. I teach fifth grade, and we have really one teacher per grade here at our school. We're not a large school. During testing, we usually send him out into the library because what he does is uh, locks up, freezes up, can't move, and he can't write. So Jessica's aide just will give him the words, and he'll spell them out loud. He'll come back in for a things that it needs to be in here for, but that just works better. Cognitively, he's completely with the program. He can vocalize what he wants, what he needs. Math, he excels at. It's just sometimes getting him to stay on task, and it's whether his Tourette's is going to allow him to concentrate. A lot of people don't realize with Tourette's is that they really can't help it. I myself went through a growing process too. It's important to understand you need patience, knowing that they're not doing it to misbehave. W-E-S-T-E-R-N. E-N-T. Some days we can go a whole day and he won't run or, or do this, but then there's other days or weeks where it happens more often. Sometimes try to get him to sit down, but I mean, there's not much you can do. You ready, Jonah? You want to get this done, don't you? If I was in some special needs room, I think that I'd be depressed always because I'd feel left out. OK, a lot of people look at me different. Um, it's just been starting making me feel kind of bad. Just because I move my leg or something that I'm not trying to do doesn't mean I'm weird or different. Usually when it's lights out, that's when Jonah starts ticking again. Jonah? Probably the other difficult part about this, other than the physical, is the emotional. I don't know what's going on in his head. I don't know what's going on. One night, he, when I put him to bed, he had said, that he wished that God would just let him sleep and not wake up. So that's hard to hear from your 10-year-old. And sometimes it can take over an hour of this, just leading him back to bed and getting him back there to settle down, but yeah, 